going to ask uh, remind you and And I do not intend to dwell on the horror of that night in November 1940, when the flames destroyed so much of your city. It is, I hope, receding into history. If we can summon to our aid, in peace, those high qualities with which we met the evil challenge of war, if the spirit which the citizens of Coventry showed on the night of November the 14th, 1940, can be reborn in the hearts of our people today, then we shall indeed see the fruits of peace. They will be far richer and far more plentiful than we have found the fruits of victory to be. Here in this central square of Coventry, we are burying the bitter and painful memories of the past. I hope that before many years, I shall come back to this place where we now stand. <laughs> to find a new Broadgate, as fine as modern taste and craftsmanship can build it, and worthy of the great city of which it will be the center. I find it most encouraging that here in Coventry, you are so alive to these problems and that your plans take full account of them. It is equally encouraging that you are not content with mere blueprints, but are vigorously pressing forward with the actual task of reconstruction. However formidable the task before us, it has never been the custom of our people to admit discouragement. Let us be sure that in ourselves and in the personal effort which the times de demand from each one of us, there is to be found the same spirit of enterprise which is rebuilding Coventry and the other towns of Great Britain, a spirit alive to the great opportunities of our day. <laughs> <laughs> 